Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. What are the messages for Taurus? What are the messages for Taurus? Secretive, sneaky, mysterious, hidden information. You got the X, unfaithful, love triangle, X in question. Some of you, there could be someone still speaks to their ex, or this could be you who still speaks to your ex. You've got soul contracts, soulmates, partnerships, spiritual union. You've got snooping, driving by, stalking, social media, psychics, tower readings. For some of you, it could be the ex of your person who is still stalking the person that you're dealing with what are the messages for taurus spiritual gifts soulmates you got soulmates twice you got psychic spiritual gifts independent you got side eye someone acting like they got amnesia a line of questioning is needed if they brought it to you, they were talking about you too. There's something about someone snooping around, as the card says, snooping. <laughs> but it could be that they're um, either doing that via social media or readings, psychics. What are the messages for Taurus? What's the energy between Taurus and the person they're dealing with? Okay, there's going to be communication between you two. What's the energy between Taurus and the person they're dealing with? Okay, so I'm seeing that you are, some of you are not speaking to someone, you're keeping your distance, you're not taking any action towards them. There is like a situation where you and this person are not speaking. But there is going to be communication, you got the page of pentacles. You've got the Knight of Cups. Why the High Priest is in reverse? If you walked away from this person, they're gonna come towards you as if you guys are still together. Because they feel left out in the cold. There is, okay. Someone is dealing with heartbreak in this situation. This could be you. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius. Or Scorpio, I'm seeing that you and this person will speak, but you are it's like you're not letting them in, like you're not letting them back into your life, or you are So you got this Knight of Cups and then the Two of Swords. It's like this person's coming towards you, but you are not letting them in. And it could be because you feel like they betrayed you, they hurt you. And they're, they're coming towards you as if nothing happened. 
so this card that talks about someone got amnesia it's because this person's coming forward as if they didn't do what they did and you are not letting them in let me look at your main spread and see what's going on what are the messages for taurus what are the messages for taurus three of wands so yeah so that you know that they're coming towards you you just may not know that they're gonna act like nothing happened what are the messages for, um, for Taurus what are the messages for Taurus some of you are done with them or you yeah some of you are done with them or you want to be done with them but they're coming towards you page of cups and you know that they're coming towards you. They want commitment. They see you as the Hierophant. The Seven of Swords. You feel like this person's deceptive. They're secretive, sneaky, mysterious. There's hidden information. You don't trust them. They... Um, like they didn't want to message or call first they're going to because you're not speaking to them yeah it's like this person if you are um Having some type of glow up if you are in the six of wands, because this is your energy, six of wands. If you recently, you know, became successful, you're celebrating some achievements, be careful with the person who's coming towards you because they could be like an opportunist. There's something about them wanting to come towards you, but they want it to be effortless. They don't want to argue. They just want you to let them back in. They want to act like they you know, didn't do what they did. They just want to come towards you and for you to let them in easily. If you're married to this person, um, they just want to continue with the marriage. But there's something about commitment. It could be that they are married for some of you. They're married, but they're not with their spouse. Like they're separated from their spouse or something like that. There's some shady business going on. But they want to come towards you and they want it to be easy. And I see you not letting them in. You feel like they're toxic. It's a toxic situation. Yeah, I feel like... Some of you feel like you... Have really moved forward. Some of you are even getting over them. Yeah, this is someone who's running back to you as you're getting over them and you're really glowing up and you're experiencing success and you're happy and they're coming forward because they just want to be a part of it and they don't want to talk about the past. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you are cautious about them because you know that they're a liar. And you will be um questioning them because this card does say a line of questioning is needed so you'll be giving them exactly what they wanted to um not deal with which was 
conflict between you two. They just kind of want to sweep things under the rug and move forward, but I feel like you are going to <laughs> maybe cuss them out. Why the tower in reverse? I feel like they're just they're just the way they are you feel like their behavior isn't going to improve some of you feel like they're insecure and that's why they do what they do but you have some type of um glow up happening level up it could be financially as well what are the messages for taurus weird because you got this soulmate energy but this person just seems okay golden cage break free from stress and toxic relationships escape worth new path and it's funny because as I was looking at the Hierophant before reading this, I was thinking about them kind of wanting to come forward and commit to you, mainly to trap you. And then the cage card. So this person could be wanting to cage you, as in, you know, commit, just so that you don't leave them. Because they seem to be in a rush when they come forward. If you're already married, they want to just continue the marriage. They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay, you know, with them. Control. Taking responsibility for both actions and emotions. Stepping up. Steering. But I feel like this person is controlling with the cage. And I feel like you are walking away from that control because you are seeing the relationship as toxic. Rambling Rose, growing apart or getting some space to think, evolving outsiders. Fluttering heart, enjoy the romance and decide if you want more sweet fleeting future some of you could be dealing with someone new because there's just, there's two soulmate cards but it's like you're getting away from someone so who's this soulmate some of you could be dealing with someone else or you're gonna meet someone new if if you are wanting to get away from this person there's definitely something about an exciting new relationship What are the messages for Taurus? What are the messages for Taurus? Refresh romance, cleanse past sorrows, be charmed and new, and embrace the joy of a fling. Some of you, it's you who is dating. Some of you have met someone new or it could actually be you who is um, seeing someone else, but it's because this person is so like controlling, lying. And you wanted to get away from them. Because spirit speaks, seek wisdom in prayer, but also have an open dialogue. Magic within creates space for personal growth and self-discovery. Dawn of recovery with each new beginning. Embrace risk as a gateway to healing and renewal. There's something about... Some of you are dealing with someone. 
but you're not serious about them yet because there's a lot of cards talking about this fling this you know taking risks in love so if you haven't met someone new you're going to meet someone new if you're dealing with this situation with this person who is you know lying deceitful messages for taurus other messages for taurus express your needs mutual feelings past love joy and stability so it seems like some of you get this this person if you do walk away from them and deal with someone new they're going to be stalking you yeah Some of you are deciding whether you want to move on from them. They could be projecting their baggage onto you. There could be a lot of conflict between you two. A lot of distance. Clinging, let it go already. In a child, can I come out and place? So it's like some of you could have been in separation with this person and you could have met someone new or you could meet someone new very soon, but they're going to come back to you. But they're gonna come back as if you guys didn't have issues in the past or if they as if they didn't lie or whatever they did but i feel like you will either have someone new who you're wanting to decide about or you're gonna meet someone new soon because there's something about a soulmate and i don't feel like you're seeing this person as a soulmate like this person who is controlling yeah see <laughs> You're seeing them as the, the page of cups, but it's clarified by the devil and the star. So it's like that you know that this person is coming towards you. What did I say about cage chaining you, control? You know that this person from the past, you know that their offer is just control. And it could be because of the star energy that you're in as well, the six of wands where you've gotten the success some of you are looking real good and this person's coming towards you for all of those things acting like they didn't lie in the past so taurus this is what i'm seeing for you you could be deciding who you want to be with I definitely don't see you being alone going forward. There's you you got somebody, some boo situation going on. So yeah. <laughs> Could be a Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo, fellow Taurus, uh, Leo. Those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.